They came bearing placards to express their outrage at the deadly police-involved shooting of Ajani Shalri. The lack of information and details continued to stoke tensions. His image and likeness, embossed on T-shirts as the latest portrait to an over two-decade vignette to the memory of the many who came before him, became synonymous with the violent tapestry of life in St. Lucia. The Miku Secondary School student died at the hands of the police during what law enforcement dubbed an operation on the night of Friday, January 28, 2022. Two weeks later, he was laid to rest at a moving funeral service held against the backdrop of uncertainty over what led to the tragic shooting death. Killing innocent, we do like that. I think that was very uncalled for and the police could have shot at his leg or something, but he was never the type to be in like... Even though he was a very troublesome boy, he was not the type. He didn't deserve to die like that. But he was a very loving boy, the sweetest boy that I knew and stuff. So I don't think he deserved to die like that. See that death, that death not right. And the person that shoot him, you know it's not right, Gasser. Why well, you can't restrain yourself? They say they have to, they say they have to have something. They have to go on for them police to stop doing them kind of puppy show. The pews were packed with mourners of the Church of Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary in View Fort, who came to say their final goodbyes. The principal of the Miku Secondary School was among those who conceded the teenager's flaws, but also acknowledged his positive attributes. It has been a really trying time, as we indicated, for all of us at the school. At the end of the day, you know, for the students, um, despite all the challenges that the journey had, he was their friend, he was their classmate. And when we took time to speak to them, to talk to them about their memories of him, what stood out for me was the fact that they spoke so much about his generosity. He always shared with them, he bought food for them, he ensured that they were, that they were fed. And they remember these things about him. For the headmaster, this generosity of spirit connotes that Ajani was not beyond redemption or irretrievably lost. Given his injuries, loved ones, including classmates, were denied one last glimpse. For them, they would have loved to have seen his body because some of them said, Miss, it, it, it's, so, it's not real, it's so surreal for them. So they needed the closure. It's unfortunate that it's a um, closed casket, but we understand. And um, of course, we continue to sympathize with his family and the families of all those who have lost loved ones so tragically. According to a statement from the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, 16-year-old Ajani Shalri, who escaped police custody, was fatally shot after attempting to evade arrest and during the process of his apprehension. The shooting is reportedly under police investigation.